Hi friends, today I am going to discuss about tension pneumothorax. Pneumothorax, pneumo means air and thorax means pleural space. Air in pleural space is called pneumothorax. Consider this as a visceral pleura and surrounding uh, it, uh, it has parietal pleura. If air got struck between uh, them, between visceral pleura and uh, parietal pleura of lung, This is called pneumothorax. Air presence between the pleural spaces in the pleural space is called pneumothorax. This is visceral peritoneum, this is parietal peritoneum. What is tension pneumothorax? It is a deadly variant of pneumothorax. In any chest injury or chest penetrating in trauma of chest wall, it acts as a one way valve. That, that means on inspiration, air enters into the cavity. But on inspiration, air does not exit. Air don't exit the cavity. Hence, every breath of the patient, every inspiration of the patient kills him. And hence, there is an increased tension. This is a, that's why this is called tension pneumothorax. Coming to etiology, as I already discussed, chest wall trauma that is more commonly penetrating trauma of chest wall, penetrating of trauma of chest wall, and infections. Congestive heart failure and uh, positive pressure mechanical ventilation is also one of the causes this tension pneumothorax. Coming to pathophysiology of tension pneumothorax, consider this as a uh, lung. Uh, blue one is visceral uh, layer and uh, red one, red is, one uh, is parietal, parietal layer. This is trachea and air is filling up between the on the right side. There will be collapse of the lung on the lateral side. And mediastinum and trachea shift to the opposite side, shifts to the contralateral side as a result of this uh, air. Ipsilaterally collapses, contralaterally tracheal and medial shift, medi mediastinal shift can be seen. And there is a decreased cardiac output due to decreased venous return. Shock and death may occur very early. The important thing, uh, uh, the, sign, the important signs and symptoms uh, are respiratory distress that is uh, falling uh, spo2 saturations of o2 will be oxygen will be saturating and hypotension as there is a decreased cardiac output and distended neck veins also occur that is increased jvp trachea may be shifted to the opposite side of the pneumothorax never ever suggest or advise chest x-ray in the patient of tension pneumothorax this is a particular purely clinical disease purely clinical examination we have to diagnose the condition but cxr is never advised and some signs are hyperlucency of the ipsilateral side mediastinal shift and downward displacement of diaphragm advising cxr chest x-ray can can lead to death of the patient coming to treatment when we clinical diagnose that patient is having pneumothorax identify the site of pneumothorax and in the second and third intercostal space of that site and particularly on the mid clavicular line insert large bowl that is 14 gauze needle and remove it to allow the air to escape this is called decompression followed this decompression is followed by thoracotomy tube insertion and IV fluids uh, because there is a hypotension this is about tension pneumothorax a very emergent condition please thank you for watching please like comment share and subscribe like my facebook page free medical coaching thank you and have a nice day